the 30th of June 2020. Just trying to get this hot point. Future Frost Free FF200LG working reliably. Got it a couple of days ago, second hand. What was happening as per my other video was the lights were flashing on it. A green, two yellows, and it wouldn't turn off, it wouldn't do anything. Compressor came on after eight minutes, but then it was just in like a, a fault mode. And whatever you unplugged it, whatever you did, it didn't, uh, didn't make any difference. So I thought, well, if the, the freezer control here, which when you put it all the way to the left, so it's in the off position, wasn't making any difference. So the first thing I checked was you should be able to reset it by pressing these two buttons here, which are the super cool and super freeze, super cool on the left, super freeze on the right. So probed them out using the meter and they worked all right. And I put the meter on these two sliding potentiometers here. They're both the same, they should be rated at 47k. And both of them are slightly different, but they are still connected in circuit, so they won't necessarily read correctly. But when I took them both over all the way to the left, the off position, there was nothing like a, a low resistance, it was still about 8, 9, 10k. So I've used some uh, isopropyl alcohol, which is really good for cleaning up potentiometers, volume controls on radios, on the old fashioned ones, anything where you've got a sliding contact, because all you've got in here is a little track that slides around on a piece of copper and it uh, changes the resistance as it goes. So I've cleaned all that up and instead of now getting Here so you can see. So when I turn the freezer off, instead of getting 8k or whatever, difficult. Sorry about this. It's difficult to say, but all I can say is when you put it on, probe on the back of the potentiometer there. Well, on either of the legs, there's only about 512 ohms between them, it seems to suggest, between the right and the left. So now when this is all the way over to off, you've got zero ohms, or as good as. Then as soon as you turn it to the right, to turn the freezer on, you get about 8, 10k. So it just wasn't getting to the proper contact there. So it therefore was never turned the freezer off and it was never resetting the electronic circuit. It might have explained why on this one as well, on the left for the fridge control, the fridge was running too cold as well. So they're both now registered zero when they're on all the way onto the left. So for the fridge in its off position and then the freezer in its off position, they're both now actually registering that. So we're going to give it one last test. Everything's isolated, we're on plastic here. Turn it on. What we should get now is the green, which is good. So the procedure is turn on your fridge to the halfway point. See now, actually, if I turn the fridge to off, the light goes off, it does actually turn off. I'll sneak it back a little bit so it registers it and turns the fridge on. Put that onto the halfway point. And the starting sequence then tells you to turn the freezer to the halfway point. Now, the other fridge is what's making all the noise now, it's not this one that's running. Put the freezer to the halfway point. Couple of seconds. Then we press the super freeze button. Now be very careful touching this PCB because there is mains voltage in it, but I know there isn't on this bit because I've tested it. Now 
evaporate fans kicked in. Our super freeze light has gone on and the unit's now behaving itself. And if I want to turn it off, I can turn the fridge off on the left hand one. It's the fridge off. I can turn the whole unit off. All the way back to there. You done the lamp? And then it's um, turned it off properly. So I'm going to disconnect the mains and then uh, put it all back together. It should be good. <laughs>